Thank you very much. You mentioned that, uh, that final briefing that they gave us about 45 minutes. Next week. All right, that was an interview that was done about 45 minutes ago with Mark Loazzo of Controlled Demolition, the uh, company that is in control of this whole implosion today of the RCA Dome. I want to show you an area of downtown that has been uh, sectioned off for the, uh, for the implosion today. As you can see, it's a large section of, of downtown, and obviously this whole thing was done uh, on a Saturday morning, so it would have the least amount of impact on people's daily life. But again, everyone involved with the, demo, with the uh, implosion of the dome is really encouraging you not to go down uh, to watch the whole thing here. This is the, the best place to actually watch this implosion. We want to go down to uh, Kimberly King, who is down at the RCA Dome uh, right now. She has uh, some people to talk to about, I think, their memories of the dome, Kim. Bob, it's actually Julia Watson. She's going to talk to us a little bit. Uh, it has been host to a lot of Colts games, a lot of Colts victories, also a lot of Final Fours, a lot of concerts, and also, um, I think, for many people, high school basketball plays a, a big role in their memories of the RCA Dome because of the amount of, uh, of finals that were held there. So, again, this is a, a bittersweet morning, but, uh, but one that does represent progress in the Circle City. Um, we should give you some post-mortem on the RCA Dome right now. It was completed in 1984 at a cost of $82 million as part of the Indiana Convention Center with the cost split evenly between private and public money. It's a story that's been told over and over, but it's worth repeating. It was finished nearly a year before the Colts actually moved to the city. Think about that. This, uh, this dome was basically built on spec. Um, if you build it, they will come. And, and that literally did happen with the Indianapolis Colts because, as we all know, in 1984, the Colts relocated to Indianapolis from Baltimore. The uh, stadium, of course, was originally named the Hoosier Dome until 1994 when RCA paid $10 million for the naming rights for 10 years, two five-year options to RCA um, at a cost of $13.5 million. Uh, the stadium seated uh, 57,980. It was expanded to 60,272. We saw just briefly there from that inside camera, all those seats have been taken out. As you can see, um, the demolition, the, uh, the tearing apart of the dome has been going on for weeks, as we've, as we've reported. Boy, it doesn't really look uh, like we remember it, does it, right there? Uh, the dome was officially dedicated on September 8, 1984, as a sellout crowd watched the Purdue Boilermakers defeat the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame. As we said, basketball was also a big part of the RCA Dome. First game played there was an exhibition game in 1984 between an NBA All-Star team uh, led by Larry Bird and, uh, and the United States Olympic basketball team that was coached by Bob Knight. So once again, we are just a few moments away from the implosion of the RCA Dome. Kim, uh, can you see any uh, final preparations going on down there as we, as we wait for the, uh, for the implosion to take place? Bob, I see a lot of the top guns are on here scurrying around. They're on the phone. And actually, we're going to just take another quick shot northbound here on Illinois Street. We're just to the west of Crown Plaza. And uh, basically, looking northbound, you can see the uh, streets are closed off. They do have squad cars with their lights on. And it's very quiet, other than a lot of onlookers that are keeping uh, at a distance right now. Just a few seconds away now. Many, many memories. 24 years. This should say, take 25 seconds to come down. Really incredible. 600 pounds, 610 pounds of dynamite in there. And we are just now literally seconds away from saying goodbye to one of the most famous landmarks in Indianapolis shown on national television for many many years. Hey Kim, I'll go ahead and jump in right now. Again, we are just seconds away from the implosion. We are not expecting to hear a countdown, so don't expect to hear a 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. But again, the areas that we're, expense, the, that we're expecting to see is the north and south sections falling first, and then we are going to be see the east and west sections falling as well. The, dorm, the dome's four corners will be the last to fall. And I am told that we are going to be given um, a couple of seconds warning, so maybe we will hear a countdown before it happens. Bye. And here we go. Watch history right along with us.
And there it is, the Indianapolis skyline changing forever once again. The RCA dome is no more. As we watched that implosion, we were struck by seeing it, it coming down. And you see the dust cloud that's coming up right now. Weather was a big factor today. All the organizers were hoping that we would not have a whole lot of wind to, uh, to move that dust around. And as you can see, it's not moving around too quickly. Hard to actually see what the debris field looks right now. Kim, you have a better vantage point than we do. What do you Tom, see? Tom, Bob, that was... That was unbelievable. That was so impressive. I'm going to bring Tom over. Tom, you must be so excited. It, it, I don't think it could have gone better. I'm, I'm just a layperson, but tell me what you saw there. Oh, that's awesome. It went exactly as planned. Sorry about the little delay there to get the trains out of the way. But uh, as you saw there, the little delay and all the, all the blasts, it's just it's so exciting. Does it bring a tear to your eye? I can say that I will. A lot of work, a lot of effort, not by me, but a whole team of hundreds of guys that have put this together. So it's really nice. It's, it's we're we're, exactly we're playing the video right now. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about what we saw there, because I actually saw yeah. the the south side go down. Yeah. Well, actually, you see some of it sticking up now, which you're never sure exactly how high, but uh, it's it's a little higher than I thought we'd end up with. But uh, the machines can all reach it. So it's, it's a, it, we don't know of any damage or anything right now, but we've got to walk it down. What will be your first thing that you will do now? Will you talk to your crews? I know that um, the expert had mentioned it's going to be about 70 feet up with the debris. Yeah, and as you can see, there's some pieces sticking up. Uh, they'll actually go in and start walking it down to make sure that there aren't any charges, everything's going off as planned. They'll look at adjacent buildings. They'll start bringing more crews in, all of that. Yeah, well, I just think it was so impressive, and uh, just once again, y you must be so pleased. I know you've worked so hard on this. V very pleased. It's always great when all the planning comes to fruition and happens exactly the way you want. All right, I got to shake your hand. Can okay, you thank you. Yes, right. thank you. Yes. Bob, that was something to see, and we'll be replaying that, of course, tonight on the news, and we'll, I'm sure, have it on our website, so you'll want to log on to fox59.com. We all have so much information on there for you tonight. It was uh, quite exciting to watch. This is history, literally, that we have witnessed down here, downtown on Illinois Street, watching the dome built in 1984 go down. Hey, Kim, we'll ask you to stand by for just a few more minutes there as we continue our coverage. We want to go ahead and show you the implosion once again. Um, particularly notable that inside camera, which did cut off, I believe, uh, very quickly. But look, you can see the charges as they go off as we roll this video there they are right there and then you can see the upper deck starting to to come down and we were told that this whole thing would take about 25 seconds didn't put a clock on it but it looked like it did take about uh, 25 30 seconds and then was uh, obscured by the uh, by the dust and debris there you go that's what they call the money shot right there an amazing picture that uh, you will see throughout the day. Let's take a look at this view from the street. Boy, that is a bittersweet sight for a lot of people in, uh, in Indianapolis. But again, a sign of progress in our city. We are going to be continuing to follow the story of the RCA Dome implosion throughout the day. Please join us for Fox 59 News at 10. We are also working to put all of this video that we showed you of the dome's implosion on our website. We will have three different views of the RCA Dome being reduced to rubble, so we urge you to log on to fox59.com. That wraps up this special report from Fox 59 News. Again, we'll have much more coverage of the demolition of the dome tonight on Fox 59 News at 10. For now, I'm Bob Donaldson. Have a good morning.